today i'm going to show you how you can generate all the 52 arcade blend shape for your character using shape engine this is blender add-on that allow you to generate all the 52 arcade blend shape for your red character okay, so today i'm going to demonstrate how to use it for all to rig pro okay so i have this character i'm going to start to rig it from scratch and how to generate using auto rig so first i'll press a select everything and i'll go to auto rig tab here and i'll go to smart rig and click on get selected objects full body and click ok so here i'm going to start by adding the neck okay so and the chin shoulder go here the wrist and that's fine okay you and ankles so yeah i want to rig the full body okay so here i'll go to the face this is the important part i'll press l to select link so here i'm going to align this to the eye part so here let's go and align the, the ears by hiding the hair and align this one to the ears and here i'm going to assign the left and the right eye by selecting this and this separate eyeball so i'm going to choose this for left eye and this one's with the right eye and i'm going to select this as my upper teeth okay so and this go to the lower teeth and this is the tank so after you are done this let's unhide everything and press ok okay now we are done with the face part and let's click go to generate the ring now it has successfully been generated okay here let me go because of the hair that's why so i'm going to select this and move it so that it can align with okay this seems okay and the next thing is click on match rig now let's press a select everything and shift select the rig and let's go to skin and i'm going to ban it Okay, let's go to post mode and let test okay, it seem okay here we need the face okay okay this seem okay the eye moves the ears okay so i'm going to unhide the hair and select the hair shift select the bone go to post mode and here i'm going to parent the bone as bone okay so now it will move along okay so to generate the blend shape we are going to use add-on called shape pinching okay when you install the add-on when you go to gum road it will show you step by step how to use it okay so here i'm going to speed it a little bit okay so let's go to the animation and here first thing select your rig okay this rig and click on rename and then go to choose that target rig as that select a rig as a target rig and i'm going to change the name after that let's select our body part like the head face and click on add and let's add the left eye so we are going to add all the parts that we are going to that is going to receive the blend shape okay so i blush and eyebrows okay after we added we have added them let's unhide everything select the rig and let's click on transfer animation okay so here if our character is rig auto rig choose auto rig if you rig rigify choose rigify if you're custom rig choose custom rig okay so if our custom rig make sure what the video first okay after that let's click transfer animation and hit okay once i hit okay let me go and play the animation okay we see we have keyframes markers and keyframe here and each marker represents how the blend shape is going to be look okay this is for arcade so let's go so this eye blink left you can see although the eye is closing but it doesn't close where well, we need to do some uh, some permanent step for the left the eye blinks okay you see all the others look fine except the eye blink left and the right and this jaw open okay i think is okay for the others so what i'm going to do next is let's go to post mode and i'll go to left eye blink and here i can manually tweak the eye blink to make the eye close well or we can go here and change from out linear to image editor and you can go here and click show reference okay click show reference uh show reference and you can see it will show how these shapes supposed to be loop and it will tell you it's supposed to blink like this and okay this i look down and it will show you this how your eye is supposed to look down and you can see it's much okay it depends on how your character 
proportion the size okay so this i look up and you can see it's doing that so you can click next marker and it will show how all the shape key is supposed to be look like okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to generate the shape key after i generate it i'm going to use the scott mode to face the blink okay i think that one is better now let's go and generate the shape key so when you go and select a card tab mesh and you go to shape key we don't have any shape keys here okay so to generate it select your character and let's go to generate shape key and click on generate shape keys and now let's wait for it to generate all the shape key for all the objects we have registered in the register face object okay now we got this and we have all these names here and you see it does not using the arcade names to make it using the arcade name just click on make arcade and it's going to change to using the arcade names and after this you can see the character is still moving the feet to make it stop go here and click on clear it and after that click on clear reference and this will remove the reference from the blender scene okay and now we have this let me hide the rig and now i can select this and make eye blink and i see it's making the eye blink but the eyelash is not fully because it's also another separate object we need to use to set its shape key by ourselves and let me go to jaw open and you can see the tank and the teeth is not follow to make them follow along when you're moving the body go to driver's control this add-on also free it this add-on is free it's on my game route so first select a mother object you want to control the address and click on add to make it on the face on the list press a select address and then click class and then click on collection piece names and create drivers and now you see when i click on it the tank snap to the job and now when i select this you can see they are using drivers okay and then select this and now when i make jaw open the tank and the teeth not follow so we can go to here and make eye blink and you see the eye is closing to face the eye to make it close well let's go to driver's control and let's select the eye blink and here i'll go and click on show selected shape key and when i click on it you can see it to show how that one supposed to be look okay and it show this how it's supposed to be look so we can select the mesh go to our scoped mode and use the scoped press j you can go to the smooth and reduce the smooth okay and press j and here we can smooth out this part so here once we are done we can go to the this and then you can reshape this one okay to match how you want it okay so now when i select the body and I, then i make okay and then i make eye blink and now you can see it follow it well okay we can do the same for for the right blink okay okay so now here i'm done with the uh, right eye and now you can see we got better eye blinking for left and the right eye okay so that's the only problem so you can also face the jaw open and make the jaw open let's go here and click show reference and this is show how the jaw open. And this one i'll use the mirror and i'll smooth out this part okay so i think this one is okay okay so now we are done we have our all the 52 arcade blend shape waiting for us here okay i looking left i squint okay i look right and here you can go mouth close to open so now after we are done this we can test with uh, arcades okay so here i'm going to press plus and add this one and i'm going to load my csv data and now you can see my character is moving her face okay and now you see it's better once we already we have the shape uh, the picture here you can click clear reference and let's go to the out linear and now we have our character animating the face and also have our rig back okay we have our rig you can use the rig to animate the face as well okay, okay. let me use the opportunity to demonstrate my another add-on called Ray motion pro it's add-on that is used to animate a character and a support character like rotary pro rigify and mesomorates okay this add-on has a 
over 450 plus admission library that can transfer to your character okay to use this add-on make sure your character is in uh fk mode so to, to switch to fk just go to settings and choose your rig and click on switch fk and make sure your character is t-post if your character is not in t-post just click on import t-post make sure you have choose your type and click on set okay and you con it will convert your character into t-post and apply it okay so after here you can go to the animation make sure you have picked this and you can search for animation you want like walk okay and then i can make walk up or walking left walking backwards let me choose uh walking okay and i'll click on load so i'll go to first film and load it okay and then we see our character is walking okay so it's walking while at face is also animating okay so you can use the blend shape to animate the face and use the the keyframes or the animation to animate the body here yeah, can load another animation and make record so she will continue from where she end you see and she's going to continue from working when end here you can go to where it end load the animation again and click on record and she's going to continue from where she end okay this add-on also has so many features if you want to learn more about this add-on make sure you go to my game road it has pdf that will show you step by step how to how to use this okay 